Alright. First thing you want to do when you uh, remove this oil pan is remove this little dust shield on the transmission here. You got three bolts. I'm actually missing one there. But there's one that goes there, one that goes here where the ratchet's at, and then one right there. So anyways, you break those loose and then you just wiggle it loose. Some people said that they couldn't get this dust shield off. Commenting on the internet on other people's videos, so that's why I'm filming myself removing it. Just for people that might have trouble removing it. Basically, I'm just gonna wiggle it to get it to come off. Okay, it just fell off, see? Wasn't that awesome? All right. Let me show you how it's made, so the people who are having trouble getting it off can see what they're dealing with. It's just, Flat on the top. That's, that's it. Nothing. So if it doesn't come off, you probably got another bolt on there that's holding it on, covered up in oil or something like that. Okay. There's my eight-pound flywheel. It's supposed to be an eight-pound flywheel. Yeah, it's got uh, got these little holes drilled in it. Whatever. Alright, now uh, I'm going to pull the pan off, so I'm going to pause it. Alright, now here's what you need to take the oil pan off and to put it on. The bigger ratchet you see there, they both have 10, uh, 10 millimeter sockets on them. But anyways, the bigger ratchet's going to give you more leverage to break the nuts loose. And then whenever you put it back on, you want to use a smaller ratchet because you don't want to <laughs> over torque them nuts and break them and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is like use a bigger one because it gives me leverage. Break it all loose. But that's pretty much the tools you need. I think that's the last of them. But now, that's pretty easy to break loose using the bigger ratchet. Now that I got them all broken loose, I can just you know, twist them loose by hand. I'm going to start on the outside. At least the outside ones first. Loosen the two on one end. Then loosen the two on the other. The other end down here. And then work your way to the center. I mean, that's the proper way to do it. And then when you put it on, you do the same thing. You start in the center. Tighten the center bolt, and then work your way out towards the outside bolts. And that way it presses and seals the gasket on right. But anyways, this has nuts on the ends instead of bolts. It has little 10 millimeter nuts. And yeah, they're covered in dirt and oil, so I'm pretty sure they're the same size on both both ends of the oil pan. Uh, and I will be using silicone on part of this when I put it back together. Just on this end right here where I'm working that's by the flywheel, it's curved and there's uh, two little spots where you put a dab of silicone just on the top corner tips where it's curved on this end. You can look it up online and see a picture of where it goes, but you just put a little dab there in the corners. Alright. Get all four of my get all four of my ten millimeter uh, nuts there. Now I'm not gonna record me like unscrewing this whole damn thing here, but let me do this and then pause it. Alright, I got all my nuts and bolts like uh, bagged up. There's a total of uh, six nuts and uh, 12 uh, 10 millimeter bolts for the oil pan. 
But anyways, I put them in bags because I'm working outside and I got cats and dogs here that run around and I spent 14 hours one time trying to find a bolt that a cat knocked inside the grass. It was just laying in the, like, right, laying right there in the grass. <laughs> they knocked it off this thing here. But, all right. Yeah. So, I'm going to show y'all before I pull the pan. Okay, on each end, you got these studs. There's a stud there. Another stud right there. Then there's a, you got your stud in the middle right there. Another stud right there in the middle. You know, these studs have nuts that go on them. Another stud right here on the other side. Another stud right there. Okay. So whenever you put your new oil pan on, these studs hold it in place. They keep it from wiggling around and moving around and sliding around and all that. So yeah, you go ahead and basically you put your silicone right here in this little crack right here you put it on the on the gasket right there in that little crevice crack right here by the uh, transmission where it curves but you put a dot of silicone right there and a dot on the other side but you put it on the actual gasket before you install it and then smash it up there so now the next step is to pull the pan off and again I'm gonna have to pause it All right, I got the old pan off. I use this tool right here. Basically, it uh, it's completely flat on one side like that. That's old. And the other side's like that. Anyways, the flat part goes against the engine block because the block's flush and flat. The curved part faces the gasket. And. <clears throat> Basically, I put it, put it right here on the block, right there. Okay, and I didn't damage the block. You can see there's no scratches or anything like that because all that oil on there protects it. But what you want to do is whenever you stick that, that tool here, you want to make sure that it is actually uh, like flush, like flush against the block here, and it's not bent or whatever. Anyways, you just tap it with a hammer and break the seal, and. Uh, as you can see, there is silicone. Let me turn it like this. Shoot. Dude, I can't see. There is silicone right here. We're all up in there. There. Uh, yeah, all that's supposed to be silicone. White, it looks like white Permatex right up in here. And, uh,. Anyways, yeah, we have our gas. I mean, our oil pan here with the gasket on it. What I just wanted to show is uh, right here on the oil pan, you can see there's white, or you know, it's basically gray Permatex. But uh, yeah, the instructions tell you to put a dab of Permatex here and a dab of Permatex there. But you know, they just smoothed it all in that grooved area, basically. But uh, anyways, I gotta pull this gasket off clean that pan and uh, clean the engine block and probably won't get it done today so might have to like have a part two to this video of me like putting a new one back on but really ain't much to putting a new one back on you just put a new gasket on it and uh, put the silicone down there and smear it with your finger and bolt everything back up but uh, also make sure you pull your dipstick out before you put the pan back on because my dipstick's hanging down. But uh, yeah, I doubt I'll get it cleaned up. I only got like an hour or an hour and a half of daylight left. All right, I got most of the gasket uh, off the pan by pulling it off with my hands. You can see it coming off in big old pieces. There's a chunk there. There's a big old chunk there. There's some more of it here. Big old chunk there and there. Yeah, I mainly peel it off by hand. There's some of it that I gotta. There's some of it still stuck on there, like right up in right up in here. Anyways, I'm gonna get it with a razor blade scraper like this. But here's the trick. Now, 
whenever I get ready to scrape this with the razor blade, I'm going to put some, see there's oil in the pan. I'm going to put oil on this blade right here. And then I'm going to scrape it with oil on the blade. And what that'll do is that'll prevent me from scraping off the paint. It, you know, it, it still might take a little paint off, but it's not going to take off as much paint as it would as if you were scraping it when it's dry. So that's why it's still got oil on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean the whole thing before I uh, get the oil out of it. And yes, I'm going to use degreaser. I'm going to spray degreaser in there and clean it out with a water hose and soap and water and a wet rag and stuff like that. But uh, there's my culprit cat. He thinks he's a mechanic. He's got to come out here and help. But uh, he's the one that knocked my bolt off in the grass. See? Alright. So anyways, the uh, sun's going down. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, finish it today. So I guess there's going to be a part two.